8.32 in the morning time on this. Wednesday morning, July 3rd, 2013. Time now for the weather to be with PJ Wiggins. The morning report. Wednesday, July 3rd, 2013. A good morning to you all of this. Lovely, lovely Wednesday morning. Our current conditions at 8.30 a.m. in Norton, Massachusetts on this July the 3rd, 2013. We got a temperature of 75 degrees with a humidity of 82%. Wind speed southwest about 6 miles per hour. Barometer 3.22 inches. 2.69 degrees and a visibility of 10 miles. Alright, we're going to take a look at our radar around New England and it shows... A couple of little light showers in central Connecticut stretching into southwest Massachusetts system to upstate New York. And a line of showers and few storms stretching from Cemetery of New York stretching out to eastern Pennsylvania to the Baltimore and DC corridor. Northern Virginia stretching to northeast and west Virginia stretching out to the Virginia, down to the North Carolina, western North Carolina, down to the South Carolina. And another line of time stretching from southern West Virginia down into eastern Tennessee. Up near 80 degrees by the time Northwestern Georgia stretched into Central Alabama and then Avalanche shots from Southern Kentucky down to Central Tennessee down to Northern and Western Alabama stretch of Southern Missouri and Southern Mississippi. And another line of showers and storms from Western Florida Pena down to the Gulf Coast. Florida in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And a couple of bottom rain in the northeast of Texas and a couple of bottom rain in southwestern Southeast Oklahoma. And a couple of rain showers in Southern Kansas. Beach day down there with partly the mostly sunny skies, upper 70s to around 80. And then Red Sox taking on the Padres tonight, partly sunny, Cuban. And a blob of showers in northwestern Nevada, southeastern Oregon, and southern Idaho. Good little showers in central Saskatchewan, southern Saskatchewan, down in southwestern Manitoba. July and August are prime time for home burglaries. So how can you keep your home from becoming a statistic? Here's NBC's Amy Mohit. And. This is a warm front flips north today. A few more storms, showers possible in the west. This is atmospheric river of a moisture from the Gulf that chips a little bit west. While the warm humid air mass remain in place, the axis of moisture is expected to slide to the north and west somewhat as we have what, three or four newspapers piled up here. Which high pressure will build over from the and you can look at the front door and you can Atlantic see coast. and such that are left there. So I know this home is unoccupied. So I'm going to try and see. And the front lifts back to the north. Quiet and private backyard is exactly that. It's quiet and As people are relaxing. But you the front that sagged over the area yesterday also lifts back to the north today. With a high building in the fourth of the day, access out of moisture from the fourth north and west, the coverage of showers and storms are expected to be gradually less to each day. The focus mainly to the west. Still in the nice little pocket of every rain is possible for today today and even into the week but chats it will be lower each day that will introduce more hot weather fat along the along the humidity beginning in better states all right seven day forecast goes like this for today mostly the the most of class guys are high to 88 degrees southwest with about 9 to 11 miles per hour because it's high as 23 miles per hour friday night a slight change of shots of the source before 11 p.m punch of volume after 11 p.m above water class guys with a lower at 70 degrees southwest with about 5 to 8 miles per hour chance of at 20 percent in venice day cloudy that gradually will become most of the size guys with high to 90 degrees west with about 7 to 11 miles per hour but thursday night punch class guys with a lower at 60 degrees southwest with about 6 to 9 miles per hour so you have five works out Activities around Massachusetts, you're good to go. For Friday, most of the time, guys, high near 92 degrees, southwest with about 7 to 10 miles per hour. For Friday night, punching fog after 4 a.m. above Wild Spot, so leave the punch class guys a little hot. With a low around 70 degrees. For Saturday, punching fog before 7 a.m. above Wild Spot, the settings guys with a high near 91 degrees. Saturday night, punching fog after 4 a.m. above Wild Spot, the guys with a low at 71 degrees. For Sunday, a chance to shower and thunderstorms, punching fog before 7 a.m. above Wild Spot, the settings guys with a high near 91 degrees. Chance of preservation 30%. For Sunday night, punching fog after 4 a.m. Above was punch class guys lowered 70 degrees. Monday, punching fog before 8 a.m. Above was punch class guys at high to 90 degrees. Monday night, punch class guys lowered 69 degrees. On Tuesday, most of the size guys high to 91 degrees. Peter's weather phrase of the day: a heat wave in the making. This is B.J. Wiggins. Have a good day. What a good Friday to you.